Hey guys, this is Tyler here. It is December here in Estonia and I'm going to discuss with guys here on what on why it may be beneficial for younger guys to date or to have at least one girlfriend before going MGTOW because I know there's younger guys here they've never been in a relationship they've not even kissed a girl before I, I actually have gotten feedback on this and it th this is unfortunate era that we live in I mean when I think back the average guy which they weren't even a guy there was more like a boy was probably doing this the first time when they were like maybe 14 or 15 and now it's like it's not even happening that's not even happening and I, I can't imagine any anything else would be happening I can certainly relate to this I mean I, I will not be the uh, last to admit that I myself I didn't even kiss a girl honestly when I was in high school that is not a lie and I didn't I just didn't have any good opportunities I, yeah i probably had a few opportunities but they weren't girls that i was that appeal to honestly and i'll be honest i was probably a little more picky i i wasn't the type of guy where i didn't have any opportunities i just i didn't have um i guess the ones i was appealed to and i as i got older i opportunities of of course came and i um got those experiences i will say here that when i was in my early to mid 20s, I look back at that period, not as much now, and I wonder to myself if I was mistreated, if I was kind of shafted by society, by culture, that I didn't get these experiences when I was a teenager and when I was in high school. I probably was more negative about this then than I am now. And then fast forward a few years, I, I look back now three to five years after that point I actually don't really think it it matters that much it, it didn't matter a lot the one thing that I would have gained from that those experiences at a younger age is I think I would have been a little more aware of, of things to look for in, in girls and in certain behaviors that I could use for maybe future relationships in my 20s but apart from that I realized it really wasn't a big deal because at the end of the day I didn't have a lot of control over these facts and as I got older and especially when I went to Russia I traveled to Russia and I probably experienced the most feminine women you could experience in the world it, when, when I went there the first time a few years ago I also lived in South America they were pretty feminine also but not as much as the Russians were I, I was amazed i mean i i realized that what what often happens in western countries is that many things are way overvalued because there's a scarcity effect here it's it's all about supply and demand and the demand is so high now for young ladies that in in, in russia for example what would seem pretty like normal it, it, it's not something that a lot of guys would even really be thinking about that much as a high value item it's like a very high valued item it's like almost a luxury good in america and in western countries when you see it from this perspective if, if anyone ever has a chance to travel to russia or who's been there they'll know what i'm referring to here they'll understand what i'm saying and, and once you experience it especially if you live there you have a much different perception of of the world and the dating market because when I when you go to Russia, I mean, if you're a high high ticket guy, those dream girls that you had in high school, you could get five, you could get ten of them, honestly, no lie. And, and when you start experiencing like that, you when you start experiencing it like like rock star status in the U.S. A list celebrity, your perception about it changes. Trust me, you just see it in a different light. You you may often I think you you realize that it, it's just way overvalued and it's the market's so inflated in western countries it's just not like it's not real it, it's very synthetic based in the west at this point and you start understanding why then when you go back and you look at the, the these western countries why you don't have opportunities it's really just a supply and demand situation here it, it really shows you though kind of how society evolved in western countries and how as the the economy in the in these countries develop more and more that would have historically been very like staple having a finding someone 
to marry, having a spouse in this, a very staple thing historically in Western countries. You understand why this was essentially made into a luxury good. It's very terrifying though at the same time when you think of what would political elites and other people running these these societies they took these kind of things and and turned them into the this situation and it's terrible honestly going back though being in rush i i, I saw everything from a different light i experienced that and it was really after that then when i look back at my experiences when i was younger like in high school and I, I didn't care as much, honestly. I, when I look back at uh, maybe missed opportunities back in, in the West, and I also realized that it was just way overpriced simply in the US. It, it wasn't really a fair situation, and it wasn't something for me to be disappointed about. I just saw for what it was. So when I look back to the West, I, I saw stuff in a different light and it, it took me further into my 20s to realize this that the market was quite inflated in fact and, and, and don't believe what you hear about places like Russia because trust me there are challenges with dating Russian women or Ukrainian women just like in Western countries. There it's other challenges trust me on this anyone who's ever uh, dated a Russian or married to one they will tell you this firsthand. It's a different kind of challenge, trust me, it, it exists. And I would almost argue and tell you guys here, it, nowadays, if you, could, if you don't have success with in Western countries, like the US, don't expect that you'll have success in, in Russia. I mean, it, it, it requires more skills, honestly. These aren't like Southeast Asians. And you, you definitely will need a certain level of game. Okay, if you're the type of guy where you felt that you were kind of left out of the marketplace in a western country especially if you can travel to almost any country and you have success yes if, if you if you're in this position because i know guys i personally can testify to this that guys like my brother uh, who stated in many countries he's been with girls from all over the world he didn't either have great success in the u.s but i mean he could go to almost any country including finland and first world countries and he would have dating success and so yes there are a small category of guys that were in the states or in canada they don't have success but they can go anywhere and and they will have no problem and yes these type of guys if you're in that category yeah, you, you would be just fine off in Russia. But if you're the kind of guy where you're in other places, you don't really do well, or you don't really feel like you have an edge, it may be more challenging than you realize. You gotta remember that, especially if you still go forth, your first relationship in Russia may not go well. You, you may have some issues, but you can learn and, and you can improve if that's the route that you go but you may not have results either. When you go to different countries, you also realize that certain traits are valued more in one place to the next. I mean, I think in Russia, for example, they want guys, they want men, the kind of men that like 60, 70 years ago that we would have seen like in Western countries, the kind of tra traits that ensure survival, that ensures ensure survival and offspring and stuff, that's the kind of men generally they want in these countries. They don't want criminals and guys that can't provide, guys that aren't very strong, solid men. And I don't mean just physically strong, I mean mentally strong. Th this is just a requisite. I mean, anyone who's lived in Russia knows there's no welfare state. This is, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is real. This is raw in that country. Now, but going back though, for younger guys here, if you've never had the opportunity or if you have, I would encourage you to take advantage and at least try one relationship out or date one person or a few people to get in this experience because you may be looking back someday and, real, and ask yourself, like you might be 50 years old, I didn't, t I didn't have any of these experiences. I'm not saying that you have to get married, you don't have to have children, but at least have some kind of girlfriend or date someone to have this experience because I'm reading about more guys, including some of you guys, you've never ever been with any girl or woman. Maybe some of you haven't had the opportunity 
maybe others have but if you do i would consider taking it because also there are guys i think that they would do just fine honestly in a relationship married have kids and would have a fine lifestyle i'm not saying that MGTOW isn't right but you sometimes it's good to kind of experience another situation another scenario and it may help provide you closure if, if that's really how you are because if you've done the other side of this like especially for guys here who've been married who've had kids or even just had girlfriend these guys know these guys know what the game's about we know what what's kind of involved here we know that when we see a really beautiful girl on the street with a guy that comes with a price it comes with a lot of work and and stresses that that are involved daily it, it's not like just some free thing and the, there's a whole nother side to that and guys who haven't really experienced that though they don't really know that they they don't really understand kind of the whole picture honestly too i mean it, it should be at least somewhat fun if especially for younger guys in a relationship there, there should be fun aspects of being with a younger gal and having a good time good experiences and this is uh, i mean this is what's involved often with younger relationships if you're the kind of guy where you if, if you feel like you just simply cannot get that in your home country and and you want to try it out desire something it may be worth looking at traveling or even living short term in a foreign country where that can happen because you can kind of reassure yourself that okay this isn't for me you might be in a position where you're in the u.s canada you you don't have any success and you just won't get it out of your system you can travel somewhere if you're young you can always go back to your home country and continue working again if you experience it for like a year or a couple years and you realize it's not for you you can just go back and continue if you're further along in your life you probably can't really do it like that and you'll reach an age where it becomes more difficult this is one of the i think myths that many guys are peddling in the mra movement and I'm not saying this is totally wrong. I'm just saying that in certain societies, I don't think this is how it is. But what a lot of guys are being told is that, oh, you can be you can be in your 40s and go to X country and oh, you'll be more sought after than guys that are in their 20s or something or that are in their early 30s. Yes, this may apply in some countries. It may apply in Southeast Asia or in Latin America. Unfortunately, in most of Europe, this is not the case. On almost any given day, a guy who's younger and even in Eastern Europe is going to have the upper hand. If you go to Russia, Ukraine, the guy who's 30, for example, is probably going to have the upper hand over the guy who's 40. There are exceptions to this, but this is typically what you find. Now, if it's really short term, if it's just a fling, yes, that guy may have plenty of opportunities but when it comes to relationships or even dating it's not often the case in eastern europe i can say but maybe in other countries this is remember that because if, if you do say oh i can just wait and wait and you, you are designing like eastern europe or like europe in general as you get older you're going to have much lim much less opportunities for this and also look at what's happening right now countries are changing a lot countries these countries could start locking their borders down like we saw in soviet times and you may not have the opportunity at all and then you'll be stuck trying to find something in your home country if possible there's a lot of factors here you got to consider but younger guys of course proceed with caution i mean i i wouldn't encourage someone with all that's happening in like us and canadian culture with all these girl power movements you got to be careful with the girls that you engage with and correspond with perhaps start a relationship with and in, in my opinion if you say can't even get to the point of holding hands with a girl in your home country you are definitely not going to get in the bedroom at least legally you're not going to get in the bedroom maybe if you pay or something you will but not in a legal way it, it's just unfortunate how it is there has to be a really strong attraction there often to get to that point but there's a lot to consider here and i'd look forward to everyone's feedback below and yes go for a relationship if you're unsure about it but you desire it. give it a shot if, if you're younger and you want to get it out of your system it's well worth it so give me your feedback below and thank you